The original Johnson Amendment prohibited a pastor from endorsing or telling people how to vote for a candidate. That was stretched out to a whole new level of the fear of separation of church and state, what put a political sting over the entire church world, and they didn't do anything political. Um, and now we realize that, uh, hey, we can do petition drives in our church, we can talk about issues, we can talk about anything that's political, we just cannot endorse or suggest recommending uh, a vote for a candidate. So if the Johnson Amendment is repealed, uh, that could give uh, pastors that option. Do you think they'll take advantage of it? Uh, sadly to say, no. I don't think so, Perry, mm. because at the end of the day, I do not believe that that was the real reason or has been the reason for silent pulpits in America. It is not the real reason, because mm -hmm. in reality, any pastor who knew what the provisions were knew that they, as a pastor, never lost their First Amendment right. Any pastor always, even according to the Johnson Amendment, can stand up and say, I am personally supporting candidate X. What the only provision was that the organization, as a church, could not say, we as a church endorse such and such a candidate or use the church facilities or the church copiers or the church meetings room for a particular candidate. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. So in reality, the, pulp, the, the pastor himself was never muzzled mm -hmm. on his ability to say mm -hmm. what he wanted to say. So I don't think that I don't I don't think it actually will. I think there's more deeper reason for a silent pulpit, Perry.